Make sure you check out my recipe book, Real Food at Real Simple, your plant-based lifestyle guide for life's daily quest for the best. So if you're looking to lose weight or if you're you know, looking to clear your skin, this is an absolutely awesome beginner's introductory guide to living a plant-based lifestyle. Uh, check it out following the first link in the description box below. How's it going, guys? Another Q&A video with Demon and hi, Cop Hannah. And the puppies are sleeping. Yeah. Well, Bubba's kind of like staring at us. Like, what is going on? Play he with me already. He just doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> he just never knows what's going on. I think the, there's only one question left. And it's the most exciting one that everybody wants to know about. The, it, the, it wasn't actually a question. They were just like, vegan sex? <laughs> so, so let's, let's talk about sex, right? So let's talk about sex. So Derek actually, like when we first started Skyping, he was talking about NoFap. And I'm like, what is the point in that? <laughs> how is that? My, I think my exact question was, how, tell me how that's natural. And you're like, well, it's not. But it's also not natural to be a monogamous relationship. It's also not natural to be masturbating. To pornography. Three, four, ten times a day. Yeah. Up to 15, I've heard guys masturbate up to. So I think it was like a month we were together. He was on 57 days of no fab, something like that. Yeah. So my last long streak was 57 days. Yeah. And I wasn't really like, I mean, he always just kind of like explained it that it's not as useful for women and women don't really need to do it. But I was single for a really long time and I was... I'm just going to talk about this. <laughs> I've always, like, watched porn and, like, done stuff, you know? <laughs> Played with yourself. Yeah. So I was, like, I – once I started looking into it, I was, like, I bet you that I actually do have an addiction to masturbation just because I did it so much. So he had me read the book Cupid's Poison Arrow, which is actually written by a woman. I had no idea. And everything in that book made complete sense to me so i read it and then i did what was it 26 days of no fat yeah 26 days on our first try yeah my first real try first real try yeah <laughs> so i did 26 days and then have been practicing it ever since then like every time that it happens we just regret it but now like being together we're getting into like practicing Carezza. so which we're doing terribly at. We're doing really bad at. <laughs> but we're learning. Like, we're learning, yeah, yeah. It's a learning curve for sure. Because, because like, you, we've both had sex, like, the same way for, like... Ever. Forever, right? Since she was 16, since I was 19. So that's, like, nine years of having it the exact same way. Where you and just, then, like, get together and pound it out. Pound for the it sake out. Of pounding it out. Just have an orgasm. Just have an orgasm. But now it's totally... I mean, we're pretty good at Carezza. We're, like, we're getting a lot. We're, we're getting better. We're just um, sensitive as fuck. Yeah, because... No fat makes you really sensitive. No fat makes you real sensitive. It makes so guys have been like, how can you have sex without orgasming? If, and it's like, it's a lot of discipline and a lot of self-control because it's so easy to do. But it also is like... Like the fact that you practice no fat, like that we both have, it makes... It just... It's fucking incredible. <laughs> yeah, it makes it just a, a much better experience. Um, like it just, it might be small movements and stuff. Like you're yeah. not pounding <laughs> you're it not out. not like going like. No. Like that. But every like, like little movement, it just feels fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Because you're so sensitive. Right. So I don't even know. It's been what, like four days together and we've had sex like 14 times. And it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> And we have done, like, Carezza for real a few times. Yeah. All right. Easy there, Bubs. <laughs> He's like, I just want to get in on this. So. But obviously, like, we're just together for this short amount of time, and it's the first time that we've seen each other yeah. ever. So it's just mu it's more kind of, like, passion. It's just a lot it's of passion. very passionate, and, like, it's not like we have sex for 10 minutes. Like, it's, like, an hour every time. Yeah. It's long. So that's where the self-control and the discipline comes the in. Self, because... Yeah. We lose the self-control at the very end. Right. And then we're just, like, and we're just like, oh, well, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> um, I think it's, yeah. like I say, like I think it's going to be more important over the long term. When we live together. When we live together and stuff like that. Because I even notice like dips in my energy after yeah. like orgasming. Um, so I feel like, like we went out for a walk with the dogs yesterday, like after we had just had sex and I was just like. Okay, I'm like, I just, having... I'm like, I feel like I'm stoned right now. Like, I was just like, my brain was just like a mess. And I was just yeah. like, I was just like, 
Uh, and like I find when so when I do no fap and I'm really <clears throat> just full on, I'm very good at like being motivated and eating mm, really well yep. and just just pounding life like just being <laughs> yeah. badass. But like since we've been together, we're like let's go get some peanut butter shakes <laughs> and <laughs> can we buy some chocolate? And we're like yeah. eating chips and like <laughs> no no no, and it's just like you're. It's you kind of go off the rails a little bit because it yeah. it's an addict like orgasm people don't realize it but orgasm is an addiction so mm-hmm. addiction stem, stems from your neurological system in your brain so like your <coughs> dopamine <coughs> Bubba come here. Yeah, come here and so yeah orgasm stems from a dopamine like the addiction stems from the dopamine release which is basically the same as being like addicted to drugs and stuff so yeah. it it does it, it's it doesn't, it's not obviously like as serious as a heroin addiction, right? but it still mimics the same part in your brain. So it's yeah. still the same thing that's kind of going on. So it is like, if, like I say, like if you can't go more than 30 days without having an orgasm, then I'd say that you're addicted to it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, vegan sex, I've never had vegan sex before. Right. So like, it's just fucking phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, pra- I mean, I don't know how it would be normally. I'm sure having sex with a vegan person, if we were just like pounding it out, doing the normal thing that everyone does, yeah. it would be kind of the same. But I mean, obviously he like smells better. He, his erections are better, like stuff like that. But I think no fap and like Carezza just fucking takes it to a whole nother level. Like it's yeah. insane. It's like insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. It's very, yeah. I mean, the smelling, the smell is like a, can be a, the biggest turn off ever so like yeah you know like just from like personal experience and like you know past relationships when i was younger it's just like like yeah vegan girls for sure just because everything smells a lot better so most guys will kind of know what i'm referring to so because it can it can get a little raunchy in certain areas so but the cleaner a girl like lives her life um the better the better she's going to smell and the more like the better that she takes care of her body, the more attractive it is for me. So, yeah. oh yeah. Cause I've had a vasectomy as well. So we don't use like, we don't use protection cause we don't, don't need to. Right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sterile and, um, that makes it even, even better. harder. Well, it makes it harder, <laughs> especially with like not orgasming cause it's just, I feel everything, right? So it's just like the smallest yeah. bit. It's like, oh, 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 fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I would highly recommend to any girls, though. Like, have your boyfriend read that book and practice yeah. NoFap and Carezza because it's like, it's insane. Mm-hmm. It just, <clears throat> it's insane. So why my channel is called Unconventional Living. Yeah. It's unconventional, but you, the results are definitely worth it, so. Yeah, it's just um, like taking your life to a new level. Especially, um, I think it's, it's something that I've noticed like in past relationships, um, just having that same type of like fertilization driven sex where I just ended up just becoming totally disinterested in the girl just over time. Um, because you just like, you're designed to, guys are designed to spread their seed to as many girls as possible. Like biologically, that's how we're designed. Um, but I don't really want to be doing that. I love Hannah. And I want to be in a monogamous relationship. And so maybe biologically it isn't as natural to do that. But I don't think it's realistic for me in the world to be like yeah. out and about, you know. So I only want to be with one girl. So you can kind of like play around with that biology a little bit. And by not having consistent orgasms, then you're not going to habituate yourself and you're not going to become disinterested. Yeah. So that's kind of like the big premise of it. And if you can practice no fap, or at least be like get your boyfriend interested in or something, like I was actually gonna do a video on like how to get your boyfriend to stop being an asshole, but I didn't. But like he's so different than like any other guy, and I really do think that no fap plays a huge role in it because it's like I could tell like after he like we'd be apart and he would like masturbate or whatever, like he was totally different after not totally, but just like not as interested in me as he was before Mm -hmm. like when he when we're like straight on the no fat we're like like we love each other so much but it's just like 
fucking crazy how much we like yeah. love each other and are interested in each other and it's like hanging right. on every word and it, you would think that you know people always say like over time your relationship's just gonna like suck and fade away if you read cupid's poison arrow you'll just see like the testimonies of people doing this and they feel the same way they did when they like first met their partner mm-hmm. it's just crazy because you're not like you know fertil- fertilization <laughs> having the fertilization driven <laughs> sex that that just ends up habituating you to your partner. So yeah. habituation means you just you just lose interest over time. Yeah. So because it's like because I've already fertilized her. So why do I have to keep fertilizing her over and over and over again? Right. Yeah. I've already done it. Now I can lose Move interest on. in her and then go on to the next one. Right. So that I can. So we're not constantly having that fertilizers fertilization driven sex that's habituating uh, us to each other and. Yeah. Um, like the title of the book is Cupid's Poison Arrow from Habit to Harmony in Relationship. So definitely want more, definitely want more harmony than more habit and yeah. disinterestness. Yeah. And I think like even at this point of us just like having so much sex, we're like, we should probably not have an orgasm for a while. Yeah. We should just tone it down. Because we have like both practice no fat for, I mean, a decent amount of time. We can just tell how different we feel yeah like i don't feel any different towards him like i'm still very like loving and whatever but if we kept doing this over and over and over again like i could For see years to come then i could see how it would make us distant from each other yeah just because it's like oh we have to have sex again you yeah. know if we were not maybe not having sex the way that we are now but if we were literally just like pounding it out just to have an orgasm mm. it would happen i can tell you for a fact it would happen yeah we don't I, want that. I, no, we, we don't, don't want, want that, that to happen. happen. So. We want to be together forever. We want to be together forever. Ah. Yeah. So we can see our kids grow up. Hash, yeah. Hashtag Dewey on Instagram. And if you think he's adorable, give him a thumbs up. Because he's fucking adorable. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be in every one of my videos while I'm here. All right. And then he's got a little nipple down. <laughs> he's he's got, obsessed with Dewey's penis. I, I don't know it's so small. It's so cute and adorable. He's so cute and adorable. Yeah, he gets that from his mom. That's true. <laughs> and he's got one weird ear. So is Bubba, though. Yeah. Hi, Bubba. Anyways, All right. <laughs> enough with the dogs for now. Thanks Even for watching, cute. guys. Thank you. If you like our video and you like Dewey, thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah. Awesome. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.